Hey everyone, Mary from SVG Cuts here. And we've been having a lot of fun with box cards over the last couple of months. And I always love seeing your box cards and all the fun things you can do with them. They're super cool because they are, um, they're very dimensional looking, very like impressive when you give it to someone. But the cool thing is that they each fold flat and they come with an envelope so you can put every single one into its own perfectly fitting envelope. So we have all kinds of really fun fall box cards, all kinds of cute fun designs. And I also had a lot of fun making this, um, well, it looks like a wedding cake, but of course, if you did not make it, you know, mostly in white, it could be like a birthday cake, anniversary, congratulations, all kinds of different uses for that. So hopefully that comes in handy for other occasions too. So lots of different fun fall designs just for, um, you know, if someone's birthday is during the fall, you can make it a birthday card or just like a happy fall card or a thank you card or really whatever. So the cool thing about these is that for the most part, each card is just um, the outside, which is a box. And m most of them are basically just uh, then two pieces that go inside. So it's really simple. You just decorate your outside and your insides and then you put it together. It's really quick and easy and probably the most uh, time consuming part of it is, um, I don't know, picking out your paper maybe, gluing it together. It's nice and easy is basically what is so cool about it. So the cool thing about this card, <clears throat> you could of course use it as just a plain, um, a plain back, you know, happy Thanksgiving, happy fall or whatever. Um, or, you know, thank you for having us over for Thanksgiving. But um, if you want to make it like I've made here, the cool thing is that you can print out the invitations PDF in your download. And there's four on each one. And there's little guidelines for just trimming it into a simple rectangle. So there's no print and cut with your machine or anything like that. It's nice and easy. And then this just goes behind this frame on here and you can fill it in with the details of your party that you're inviting people to. So as always, your download comes with a PDF and it shows you all the different little inserts and if you want to make it just like mine, it shows you how to do that. Or if you want to make your own completely different box card, each of these four box cards comes with um, <clears throat> a plain version so that you can embellish it with other shapes if you wanted to do that. So the paper that I use this time is called Sweater Weather. It's by Simple Stories. It's really cute and I used it all up on my cards so I don't have any extras to show you. But like I always say, any kind of paper that you think is gonna look good is gonna definitely look good. So I've got my pieces cut out to show you how all five of these go together. So let's get started. First for the Apple Crate box card, as you can see in your PDF, um, for this card and for each card, you can see exactly how the embellishments are laid out. So I've already gone ahead and glued mine together like that. So I've got the inside front, insert one and insert two, and then I've got the body of the box card. And I went ahead and glued the back on here, which you can stamp or write on, the two panels here and the panels on the crate, and then the back panel decoration and this little flap, which folds over like this. So the first thing you want to do is put together the body of the box here. And that is nice and easy. And then we can go ahead and grab this inside front insert. And that's going to get glued to, to the inside front. Nice and easy, lines up just right. And then for insert number one, we want the tabs folded towards us. And I went ahead and darkened this in with a marker, but your machine will also have cut a number one and a number two, the number two being on piece, you know, insert number two, just to make it easier for you to tell which one is which. So as you can see, I'm putting that right inside and the top of it, the tab is flush with the top of the side of the box and the front of that tab is flush with the front of the box here. Just to make it nice and easy to tell exactly where it goes. And then before it's completely dry, it's nice to do a gentle back and forth fold to make sure that it's going to fold. 
properly. And then for the next insert, we want these tabs to be folded away from us. And once again, we'll just put some glue on there. And then the top of the tab, again, is flush with the top of the box. And the back of the tab is flush with the back of the box. Same thing on both sides. And all of these cards are going to go together just the same exact way that I just did this one, except for the cake, which is a little bit different. So let's do the cake next. Next for the cake box card, I've got my pieces laid out here. And in your PDF, there's not exactly a diagram per se for this one because it's not like a typical box card. So we've got this, um, you can see that these panels up top are a little bit smaller, that's the top. And then the next largest one is the middle. And then the bottom is made up of two pieces, which are gonna get glued together to form a larger piece. Then we've also got these two pieces which form the outside of the box. And I went ahead and I glued my panel interior here as well as my cute little panels on the sides and my lace on the flaps. So we can go ahead and glue together the outside of our box here. And the same thing on the other side. So that's just going to form a nice little box that we will put our cake inside of. So there's the body of our box. We can set that aside. And now let's go ahead and take these two pieces which form the bottom, the bottom layer of the cake. And I just put some glue on just this, just this tab up here. And then I'm going to put some glue on just this tab up here. To sort of form the box shape of the bottom. So let's go ahead and form the box shape of the middle layer. So all I did was put some glue on this tab here. And then I will do the same thing with the top layer. So that is the main shapes of the cake here and all that's all that we need to do is glue them together so to do that as you can see there's one large part which is the front or the back the front and the back are the same and then the two sides are kind of open on the bottom so basically what we're going to do is have our cake be like oops like this because as you can see, the sides are open, but the fronts are kind of larger. So before I show you how the cake goes together, it's important that these bottom tabs are folded like this. So as you can see, the side is kind of open. So this is the front or the back because the front and the back are the same. And we want these to be like this. So we want to go ahead and do that on all three layers of the cake like so like this so the way that this is going to go together if you look at it from the bottom you can see that it's going to go in into the box like this so that's the front so that means that we need to put this inside like this so let me go ahead and Put some glue on these two tabs here. And the side of this tab is going to be flush with the side of the box. And the side of this tab is going to be flush with the other side. And the bottom here is going to be flush with the bottom of the box. So 
So I just want to carefully get that into place. on both both sides. So there we go. As you can see, it's glued. The tabs are on the front, the front of our box. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on the back side. Even if you just get a couple dots of glue on your tab, on your tabs. That is, it's just enough, that's fine. So once I've got one in place, then I will just pop the other one into place. So there we go, you can see this is the front of our card, and it's glued in these four spots. So now we want to basically do the same exact thing with the next layer, and we want, we just want the side, this, um, the bottom of this piece here, to be flush more or less with the top there. It doesn't have to be exactly scientifically perfect, but that's the idea that we're going for. So again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just popping one tab into place and then the other into place. And if we look at it from the bottom, we can see it's just a smaller version of what we did at the at first. So now I'm going to carefully get some glue onto the other two tabs. I guess I could have I could have put the glue on all four tabs at, at once. That might be a little easier. But if you don't work quickly enough then it could dry, so either way is totally fine. So now I just want to carefully get that into place. And as long as everything is kind of, um, well, as long as everything is going at right angles inside, then you're gonna be all set. So there is the middle of our cake. And again, it's just a, a smaller version of what we did at first. So finally, we're just gonna do the same thing with this small top layer here. And again, we want the bottom of this to be flush with the top of this more or less. So before your glue dries completely, it's kind of a good idea to make sure that your cake box is going to fold flat. Mine is slightly, mine's slightly off, so it's, it's, uh, it doesn't want to fold completely flat. So you, as you're doing it, you want to kind of check it and make sure that it's going to fold, fold flat before your glue dries. And if you want, you can kind of peel off maybe one of the tabs that's crooked or something and realign it. So this time I went ahead and put glue on all four of my tabs at once because it's kind of tricky to get the glue in there once it's started. And again, I am just making sure that everything is at right angles and before it dries too much, I'll make sure it folds flat in both directions. And it does. So again, you can see that's just a smaller version of the other two. So at this point, you can go ahead and put your cute little flowers all over and you're good. So next for our fall leaves box card, you can see it's 
just a bunch of pretty leaves, which always looks nice for fall. And in your PDF, you can see that the, the way that it's laid out, you've got the front, which is just one leaf here. So I went ahead and glued the front onto the body of my box card. And then you can see insert one and insert two. And then the back panel decoration, which is this leaf is glued on. And then the back side of the card, which is like this, um, has another leaf on the back as well as a label so that you can stamp or write something on there. So the first thing we want to do is put together the body of the box card. And that is nice and simple. <coughs> And then the next thing we want to do <coughs> is take insert number one here and put some glue on these tabs. And these tabs are folded towards me because I want the top of the tab to be flush with the top of the box and the front of the tab to be flush with the front of the box, more or less. And as long as the insert is going straight up and down and as long as before your glue dries if you do a quick little check and make sure that it's going to fold flat then you're all set so we can take insert number two put some glue on these tabs which get folded away from you <coughs> and again just put that inside with the top of the tab flush with the top of the box and the back of the tab flush with the back and the same thing on the other side. So that cake box was a little bit different, but the other box cards are all gonna go together the same way with the inserts, just like that. Next for the pumpkin patch box card, we've got, again, in your PDF, you can see insert number, uh, I'm sorry, the inside front, the insert number one, insert number two, and then the back panel decoration. So the inside front actually has a, a one on it. Um, so first, what we want to do is go ahead and glue your decorative panels on the flaps of your box card. And then on the inside, you can go ahead and glue this stack of pumpkins. But this one white pumpkin, we want to wait just a second to glue that on. Because <clears throat> first we want to glue this this tab into place just because that pumpkin sits a little bit on top of that tab so we want to get that into place first and then we can put our pumpkin in place so next we can put some glue on this other side tab of the body of the box card. And then for insert number one, we can cover this whole front part with glue on the bottom there. And that's gonna go right inside the front of the box card. So next for the insert that has number two on it, these tabs get folded towards you and you just want to put some glue on them. And then that tab just fits perfectly in there with the front of the tab flush with the front of the box and the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, the top of the tab there is flush with the top of the box. So as usual, before the glue dries completely. You want to fold it both ways gently to make sure that it's going to fold flat. So then for insert, uh, the next insert here, the final one, it has a number three on it. We want those tabs folded away from you. And just like before, the tab is flush at the, at the back there and at the top. So as you can see, it's flush with the top of the box and inside there it's flush with the back. And once again, just gently fold it back and forth. So after 
yours is together or before it's together if you want. Oops, mine came undone. You can, um, actually after mine was together, I went and I got uh, a little paintbrush and I painted a bunch of glitter all over in different colors. So that was kind of fun. So finally for our Thanksgiving box card, which can be just a playing card or an invitation, we've got the inside front, which is two layers, and insert number one here with a nice turkey, and insert number two. And then we've got the body of our box card. So I went ahead and put my panels in place on the front. It has these two little sides that fold down. And then the pretty lace on these two sides, as well as the panel and the pumpkin on both of the flaps that fold over. So then on the other side, we've got this green panel behind this nice little dinner plate here. So on the very back of the card, which is right here, this is where you can, if you're gonna use your invitation, um, you can go ahead and write whatever you want in there. And then you can glue that inside. So to glue that inside, I'm just going to put just very little glue going around. And I have my helper helping me right now. It's very nice. If any of you guys have have cats when you craft, you'll have to let us know in the comments if they help you when you craft too. And by help, obviously that's in uh, quotation marks. Okay, so that is, well, I didn't center it very well, but you can see it, it, even though it's not centered, it's still hidden behind the frame, which is nice. And then we can just put a line of glue around the frame. And then just glue that right into place. <coughs> So the next thing we want to do is glue the main part, the main parts of the box part together, just with these two side tabs here. And there is the body of our box card. So now all that's left to do is pop our inserts into place. So for the inside front, I just want some glue here, which I will put right inside the front. I don't know where my helper went. I don't know if I can finish this by myself. And then for insert number one, we want those tabs folded towards us, just like all the other box cards, nice and nice and simple, nice and consistent, pretty darn easy. So again, the top, the top of that tab is flush with the top of the box, and the front of the tab is flush with the front of the box. And I'll just do a gentle back and forth to make sure it's going to fold flat. And finally, we'll just put some glue on this final insert here. And those tabs get folded away from you. And just right inside, flush with the top and the back as, as always. And just carefully make sure it, it's going to fold flat and you're all set. So there you have it, super fun fall box cards. I hope you have fun making them and I hope you have fun giving them and sending them. And if you do, you'll have to share a picture on our Facebook wall or um, you know, put it on your blog if you have a blog and then you know, pin it, you could pin it on Pinterest or put it on Instagram and do hashtag SVG cuts so that we can check it out because we love seeing what you make and so do the rest of our crafty fans. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting! 
Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.